Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it has been forever since I have posted a video. I've just been busy with school and living my life here in the desert. So there's really no excuse for it, but I'm back and I'm ready to share some more content with you. Yeah, I got to try all of your coffee recipes and try new coffee shops. I hope you try these coffee recipes yourself because I had so much fun just trying something new and switching up my routine just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, so here it is. My intention was to start this video on Monday, but today is Wednesday. So we're gonna start it on Wednesday, um, but it doesn't matter as long as I try it seven days, whatever, you know, it's a week. The first drink that we're gonna be trying is an oat milk honey latte. I think that's what it is. My friend April drinks, so April, shout out to you. I'm trying out your latte. Um, I'm going to Starbucks because her other suggestion is from Zanzibar and we don't have that here in Chandler. So I'm gonna try this oat milk honey latte. I'll let you know how it is. I feel like I'm cheating on my own coffee recipe. Does that even make any sense? Hi, thanks for coming to Starbucks. Let's make a Thursday today. Yeah, hi. Can I do a grande um, oat milk and honey latte? Thank you. 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 You don't always got what you need and it happens that's all right so we modified this order a little bit we got it with soy milk instead of oat milk which i have tried with oat, oat milk i have tried oat milk and i really did enjoy oat milk it's delicious i think it's amazing and i drink it in my coffee very often um, but this time we decided to go with soy milk so that's what we do all right so we're back at home we've gotten our oat milk but not really our soy milk honey latte. Let's give it a smell test first. Ooh. That smells so good. What? Honey blend. Okay. Gotta level with you. I did not expect honey and coffee to be great. Bye, y'all. Mm, yeah, absolutely. All right, so out of 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. I'm gonna give this a solid like, like an eight. This is like, or maybe even a nine. This tastes like a, like a mocha, it's delicious. But why does it taste like a mocha? There's no chocolate. Maybe it's just the honey and the sweet with the coffee. I don't know. This is gonna get a nine out of 10 for me. So go try a soy honey blend latte. Thanks, April. All right, um, the time is currently 7.40 something on, this is a horrible clip. <laughs> 7.40 something on um, Friday. I did not get coffee yesterday, full disclosure. I just like, it didn't happen. I was doing homework, cleaning and just, honestly relaxing um and i just didn't feel like drinking a coffee yesterday so i didn't um this morning however i woke up and i am exhausted i'm heading into work right now and i am so tired <laughs> so i just got a iced vanilla latte at one of my favorite coffee shops here in the valley it's called ziggy's and i love it i love their caramel lattes so i wanted to get something similar to what i drink this morning because i am so tired and i just need coffee and if it wasn't going to taste good and i didn't want to drink it i would have been screwed out of a coffee drink okay I saw that Robin and Michelle both get vanilla lattes. So shout out Robin and Michelle. I'm trying your order today. Um, and I'll be right back once I pick this up out the window. I'm going to try this coffee really quick because I'm about to be late. <laughs> yep, pretty bomb. But I ordered an extra shot because I need some caffeine. Vanilla latte, it's going to be an 8 out of 10 for me because I just like caramel more. That's just, that's just how it is. That's just how... That's how some people are. Well, everyone, I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, I guess you're not watching this in days like I'm filming, but I hope you're still having a good day. 
Hey, what's up you guys? I'm just finishing up with a dentist appointment. I technically can't drink anything for 10 more minutes, but we're gonna get this coffee today because I wanna try a new recipe that you guys have suggested to me. Um, I think like 700 people that responded to my post drink Americano. So that is what we are going to try today. A lot of you drink them differently. Some of you, Sam, my friend Sam is a crazy person and drinks a four shot Americano. That's insane, oh my God. I guess I do put I drink a quad shot latte, so never mind, Sam, you're fine. Some of you drink it with cream, some of you do half decaf, half regular. Um, so we're gonna try this Americano today. I'm actually really excited. I remember I've had one once um, and I didn't like it. And I think it was because it was at the beginning of when I started drinking coffee and I didn't necessarily love coffee. Um, so I think I'm gonna do it with a splash of milk today. I think I'm gonna do a two shot Amer iced Americano with a shot of espresso or with a splash of um, oat or soy milk. I'll probably do soy. We're going to my favorite coffee shop today. My favorite coffee shop in the Valley is called Coffee Rush. My dad recommended this coffee shop to me. It's a local one close to both of our homes. And I love it. I think their coffee's great. They're fast and their service is amazing. So let's go get that Americano and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, y'all, I'm back. I have my Coffee Rush three shot Americano. I just added soy milk. They asked me if I wanted flavor and I said no because I ain't no big. No, I didn't say that to them. <laughs> but I told them I wanted to try it for the first time, like try something new. So this is what we're doing. Um, I think in the future I would definitely put flavoring in this. Um, but sometimes it's just nice to have a black coffee. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was under the impression that an Americano was espresso and water. Um, but they were telling me they just pour their espresso straight over ice. So this is literally just a shot of espresso with no water. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, it's bitter. Bitter. I'm glad I put milk in it. I don't think I could do this black by any means. It's good. I love coffee, so it tastes great. Um, but I'd probably put flavoring in it for next time. But that's just me. A scale of one to 10. This one's probably gonna, I'm sorry guys, it's probably gonna be like a five or a six. Ah! The caffeine, the amount of caffeine, I would drink this. In the, for like three shots of espresso and I just need to drink coffee, I would drink this. But if I want black coffee, I usually just go with an iced black coffee. That's it. And just no sweetener, no milk, or maybe just a splash, splash of soy milk. So this is kind of like that, but stronger. Today is Sunday. We are trying Black Rock Coffee Bar today. I've been there a couple times with my sister. She did take me once before and I've gone myself a couple times. Um, but we're trying a new coffee drink that I've never had so it might be even better. Dirty Chai Latte. I saw that some of you get chai lattes. Some of you put the espresso in. I personally have never had one myself so I am actually really excited to try this today. I got it hot um, and then realizing I should have got it cold. Um, it's about 76 degrees out right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn my mouth off. Hmm. Why does it remind me of gingerbread? Alright, so I was worried I wasn't gonna like that one. So I got a tea as well. I saw that one of my friends does not drink coffee. Brian, this one's for you. This um, pineapple tea, I'm sure you just get like an iced tea, but they have pineapple tea, so I'm gonna give that a shot today. Mm. Why is it pink if it's pineapple? I don't know, but it's pretty good. The chai latte is gonna get like, probably a five or a six for me. Honestly, it, I, it's probably not my first choice, but it is good, like it's not bad. And also he didn't put a sleeve on this. This is like so freaking hot. This pineapple tea is probably gonna get an eight for me. It's delicious, it's very refreshing. This is probably gonna get a six, a solid six. It's good guys, it is good, but it's not my cup of tea if you know what I mean. This is. <laughs> we are at the Gilbert Farmer's Market this morning trying Mama's cold brew. So good. I got a lavender coffee this morning and Hannah got a salted caramel. Here goes my taste test for the lavender. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can't taste lavender, but I can at the end. Do you wanna try it? It's pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> Your face does not look like you like it. I'm gonna give this one probably like a four out of ten because it's a little different. It tastes like I'm eating like potpourri. <laughs> Hello everybody. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> 
Goodness, that took a minute. If you can't tell by the gigantic bags under my eyes, it is currently finals week at Arizona State University. Woohoo! We are almost done with the spring semester and I am just, you guys, I'm so ready to be done. I took uh, like 18 credits this semester and was working like 30 to 35 hours a week and it was just, ah! Anyway, um, because it is finals week, we need a lot of caffeine, am I right? Today's the perfect day to try some, try, try some new coffee. I don't wanna drive all around town. I've tried all the ones that are really close to my house. So I had an idea. Rachel and Renee, this one's for you. They drink espresso with a protein shake. So I have not had breakfast yet. So I think this will be like the best of both worlds. I say that and then I'm drinking caffeine on an empty stomach and I always just freak out if that happens. I know the exact protein shake that Rachel used to use because I used to work with her. So I know every time she would go to Quick Trip or whatever gas station and get a lean body caramel protein shake. So I think that's the one I'm just gonna try because I love caramel already. And Rachel, you my girl. Renee, I don't know what protein shake you use, but if you wanna drop it below, I will give it a shot because I am very hopeful for this recipe um, to kind of supplement my breakfast and coffee at the same time. Does that make sense? Anyway, so I just took my dog on a walk and I am going to head to the nearest quick trip and grab some supplies. I don't know if they do espresso over ice, but I'm basically just gonna ask them for, for it. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Nice. everybody I'm back I was able to get my two shots of espresso over ice and the lean body salted caramel protein shake so it's kind of like a latte but a protein shake it's pretty tasty It's definitely delicious. It's a good like two for one, if you know what I'm saying. All right, Rachel. All right, Renee. I'm gonna give this a salted like seven out of 10. It's a little too much like on the milky side for me. You know what? 7.5. Thank you guys for sharing this. It's, it's really good. It is Wednesday. I actually did a video two days in a row. Look at me. Mm. Today we are trying a new coffee shop and I am so excited about it. It's called Sozo Coffee House. The atmosphere looks really cool. I think it's just like I have to walk in. I don't believe there's a drive through I am going to be trying a double red eye according to my old history teacher, Jason Danielson. It feels weird calling him by his first name. Yeah, it's just weird. Ew. He suggested another coffee drink if he was staying at the coffee shop, but I'm not staying. I'm leaving. Um, so he said if he's leaving, get a double red eye. I have never heard of this until it was suggested to me apparently it's normal drip coffee with espresso shots if i'm correct i'm excited to try it sometimes a nice like bold um, roast is the way to go so i think this will kind of be again the best of both worlds um similarly to yesterday let's go try this coffee drink because i have to start get working on a project this morning all right, you guys, so I made it back from Sozo Coffee House. I just walked inside. So this coffee shop was actually in the middle of like a strip mall of like what looks like um, a furniture store. It's just very random. It feels random at least. I got my double red eye. However, I was corrected. Once it's two shots, it's called a black eye. Sounds like you're getting punched in the face with caffeine, which is exactly what I need today. I got mine iced with a bit of oat milk just because I knew I probably wouldn't like it just black. I was gonna do it hot, but it's supposed to get up to be like 85 degrees today. So here's the black eye. That's honestly so much smoother than I anticipated it to be. Mm. So the black eye is going to get an 8.5 for me. It's definitely gonna um, switch up my coffee routine because this is definitely one that I could drink on a regular basis. So Jason, thanks for sharing and cheers to you, my friend. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a comment down below. Like this video. <clears throat> please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Look out for other videos. I am working on one now, so.
knows? You could see one sooner than you think, or I could get busy again and forget about you guys. <laughs>